Welcome back to Garage K. In this episode, we're going to continue working on my white van. And it looks like it's going to have to be modified straight out of the packet. But what's unusual about that? If you recall, in the last episode, we pulled the dash out. Now it's time to clean behind the dash, remove all the aircon components, or all the aircon components that I can, and then uh, put some sound deadening on that wall. But first, we have to get those components out. cigarettes done and that will never do so we'll have to clean that foam is still in good condition but we might redo that anyway because it won't it won't scratch it won't damage anything but I can use it to pressure into these uh, tight to reach hard to reach spaces like that it's got the the cloth protecting it but if it, even if it does come off it's not going to damage anything In the process of pulling that out, I forgot that this was attached and actually snapped it off. So now I'm going to have to pull the radiator out to repair that piece that I broke. It's a little plastic T-piece. Um, not expensive, but I mean, it's in there. It's a pain to get at. I 
I'm pulling so much more of this car apart than I planned. Now can I can I not break this? I might have to drain the radiator. Realistically, I probably should anyway, shouldn't I? Corn's not expensive. Oh, quest? I'm already on a quest. <laughs> yeah, that is not going to be good. I have to have to drain the radiator. Shit. Drain the radiator, take the radiator out, order that. Uh, T-piece put that T-piece in but I mean having said that once the T-piece is out then I can fully remove that aircon part and um, clean it properly so we'll clean it clean it properly and clean behind it properly so doing it properly is good but it's not something I really wanted to do now we're going to drain the radiator Um, there it is. Um, no, there's one under there, which means I have to take this whole back panel off as well. How oh, wonderful. Or we could just fold it down. Great design, Suzuki. Fantastic design. You have to take that off to get this off. What the fuck for? What was the purpose of that? just to make draining the radiator more difficult. Fuck me. Idiots. Seriously, what the fuck was the purpose of that? You get that? Alright. Back to this. Absolute fucking joke. Get the fuck out of there. You, get the fuck out of here. Bye. The drain plug is here. Need to get a bucket. Something we can drain this into. Look at the colour of this water, would you? Check out the colour of it. Fucking brown. Yo. This had supposedly had the head gasket done, but I guess um, I mean I've already wiped it, but I guess it wasn't done very well, or it's already been blown again, or they didn't flush the system last time it blew. That's water, not fucking coolant. That'll do it. is difficult with one hand. She's rusty. No wonder. You didn't use any coolant. You used water instead. Mm-hmm. We having fun yet? I'm not. Don't forget to undo the radiator fan. And we should be able to pull this out of the way. So that we can get to that bottom hose down there. Then it should just come straight out. Oh, top hose. Don't forget this one. Well, I'm kind of glad I drained the fluid because, well, not fluid, drained the water 
because this isn't good anyway. Okay, the radiator's out. Need to get that bolt out there. And this is the little T-piece that I broke up in there, up in here. Oh, there we go. Now we can actually see. So I need to get that bolt undone and then replace that T-piece in there because that little end bit snapped off. Shit design. They should have been metal. They're plastic. Um, but it is what it is. I shouldn't have pulled on it. Note to self for the second time. That's not the first time I've broken one of those. I broke the one on the carry truck too. Oh, something just fell in. We've dropped. Look at the water. It's just shit. Absolute piss. This engine is probably fucked. There's no coolant in that at all. Look at it. Did they use red coolant? Red coolant and a shit ton of water. Now nah, that's full of rust. Derp. Oh, now we can see the uh, seal that's always leaking. Look at the... It's all dry rotted and horrible. So, yeah. Look at how this naturally sits. It's just basically touching this uh, aircon line. Quite terrible. This can come off here. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Everything's difficult. Everything's difficult. Look at the the lines of shit coming off there. Probably already had a coolant leak. Pre-existing condition. I'll move that one out of the way. Now I've got those two hoses off, bend that up there. Now I should just be able to pull the, uh, the box out from inside the car. Should be fairly easy. Should be, probably won't be. So I put this bolt back in just to hold it in place so it didn't fall. Now we can get rid of that. Again, don't drop anything down in here because there's no way to get it out at the bottom. There we go, and that comes out of the car. Sweet. Getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. Now I have to figure out how this motherfucker comes off. I thought I knew, but I don't. So to get this off, you squeeze in the blue part at the bottom. And that is the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you'd like to see more, press subscribe. Um, if you'd like to support this channel, you can do that by getting your name on the Garage K door. Details on how to do that are in the description down below. I'll see you in the next episode. Later.